back to the Face Store. Thanks for joining us on this episode. I'm feeling invigorated. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. And the main reason why is because most of this shit is fantastic. Oh yeah. So, this is Trader Joe's 2015 Vintage Ale. Dark ale brewed with spices and natural flavor added. Mm. On leaves. 9% alcohol by volume. On leaves. Mm. We have one. Uh, this yeah. is brewed by Unibrew. Speaking Shall of which, I looked that up. I was right. What is it? It's it's actually... Oh, look at that. Keep <laughs> reading. Read. Brewed by Unibrew, Chambly, Quebec, Canada. Imported by Unibrew, U-N-I-B-R-E-W instead of U-N-I-B-R-O-U-E. Very interesting. They ditched the French when they import it. Fair enough. It's very strange, but... Lees refers to deposits of dead yeast or residual yeast and other particles that precipitate or are carried by the action of fining to the bottom of a vat of wine after fermentation and aging. The yeast deposits in beer brewing are known as trill. I don't think that made you right. What you said is, no, it's brewed on lees. Like, it's actually no. on lees, and you looked at me and laughed. That's what you said. Well, that's what it is. You didn't know what lees was. I didn't know what lees <laughs> was. <laughs> No, but you said it was a location. I thought I was, it was a river. That's what I said. I was more right than you. I, that's fine. But you just said, I mean, it's on lees. I think they actually brew it on lees. Well, no, lees is a thing in the fermentation process that it's brewed on. <laughs> Oh it's quong. It's a quong. No, you gotta look at a medical dictionary. Renovation gets difficult, you quong them. No, you gotta find a medical dictionary. Oh my god. Hey, you didn't tell me that. What? The, the onlys thing. Yeah, you were there. No, but you didn't tell me that you had felt. I had looked it up later, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just thought about it. Now this is the color I wanted the other one to be darker because yeah. ten point two percent that look that that one Sam Adams one that we just did looked really light for ten point two percent. Ooh, it's nice. Yeah, I like that. That's good. The spiciness is there. Mm -hmm. It like fades away after the first sip, but mm. it's really good. Mm -hmm. Did you read all this? No. No, no, no. it's a lot to read, man. That's like a whole. That is a, a lot to read. I'm not reading all that. It's a fucking mm. saga. See, what does the top say? U unique and limited edition. It's very hard like that. Unique and limited edition. This Belgian style ale is crafted once a year as a special treat for those of you who appreciate flavorful, bottle conditioned ales with character. I feel like letting it sit even longer would have been better. Yeah. 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 It says here our vintage ale is, it is a rich, dark, and full bodied ale with fine and generous coffee colored beige foam. It's ready to enjoy right away, and you may also wish to sell her a few to sell her a few bottles. It will evolve interestingly well. Keep the bottle upright in storage. Also, this this one's very good. It's very yeah. spicy, which it's is which good. is it's it's definitely similar. It's actually it's not quad so much in nature. It's more double in nature. Yeah. But it's spicy because most of the Belgian the actual Belgian doubles and quads aren't. Like spiced like this, you taste figs, you taste kind of uh, raisins and, and or plums and, and sort of this nut, like kind of like nutty slight slight thing. This is not quite so much like that, but it's very it's very interestingly spicy. Also, I think um, it's I don't know. Usually, I like it pretty dang cold, so I wouldn't complain, but. It may even be a little colder than for these. I'm sure it is. These are. I think it even says a. It uh, says 53, 53 degrees, yeah. degrees, which I'm sure this is significantly colder, colder than. Yeah. Now, luckily, when you pour it into the glass, pretty much immediately it's going to warm up a bit. Yeah. So this is probably in the 40s somewhere, low 40s, I yeah. would guess. Yeah. Because, uh, but yeah, that's. But you you do end up tasting more oh, of yeah. the character when when, when we did when we did taste tours overseas, and we take the stuff outside. It's warm, you know. Outside temperature, you start 60, 60, a lot 60. more. Of the Man, there are a lot of flavors in that stuff. Yep, a lot of flavors in that stuff. Yep, and, and when you chill it, when it's super cold, absolutely. And that's why they want shitty beer to be oh, super exactly. cold, yeah. ice cold, because you can't taste any uh -huh. of the shittiness. Just kind of tastes like water, like the the Miller Lite. Oh well, yeah, I wasn't gonna name names, but yes, I think we've trashed them on the show before. So. Yes, yes. What I will say though, it's. I agree with you. I think I would even like it warmer so you could get more out of it. But I'm still getting what I like out of it. Me too. Me too. And I like it a lot. I'm getting this very nice spice. It's very good. I'm going to give it uh, one more sip here. 
Yeah. I, I like I like Unibrew a lot. I'm, I'm gonna give that an eight and a half. I dig it. Very nice, spicy, like a nice hearty double, but spiced. Cause this is not this spiced. I don't know if you guys realize this. This is not typical for a Belgian style beer. No, it's spicy. Yeah. 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 And they're they're clearly trying to do something a little not, bit different. Yeah. yeah. Not not completely standard. A little bit unique. I like it. Dig it a Me lot. Too. I give it an eight. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, I'm an eight as My well. My tummy hurts. <laughs> I'm an eight as well. I I really like this a lot. I think it has a lot of good character yeah. and. I would definitely it's, give it a eight. Really really yes, me. me too. Um. Uh. <laughs> I guess I'm an eight. 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 Eight, eight, eight and a half. Correct. All right. Anything else to add about this, guys? It's good. good. If you like the, if, yeah. if it sounds good to you, check it out. Yeah. If there's a Trader Joe's near you, Unibrew brews it, but Trader Joe's sells it. And for a reasonable amount, too. Yeah, it's no, these are like $6.99 or something. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is great. I mean, it's a great price for these. Best guys. Buy 18. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, that's what I'm saying is we should have left it for like yeah. another year. Yeah, yeah. Get it this year. 20, the 2016 version. Yeah. Yeah. So. Just let it sit for a while. Trader Joe's 2015 Vintage Ale. Dark Ale brewed with spices and natural flavor added on Lees. 9% alcohol by volume. It's brewed by Unibrew out of Chambly, Quebec, Canada. We'll be back at the tour. Thanks for joining us. Join in next time. Keep